never directly edit your Minecraft.jar file again with this awesome spotlight that allows you to install and manage your mods. Netcast you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hello and welcome to the show, OMG Craft. This show will make you a Minecraft pro in no time. This is the new season two, just to let you guys know how we're gonna be doing this. Every Tuesday, we will be offering up a tip. Every Thursday, which is this day, we'll be offering up a spotlight. And then on the first Saturday of every month, we'll be doing a multi-video course. This week, once you start getting really into Minecraft, all of your mod files and various jar files, and oh, this works with this server, but not with this server, it becomes super hard to manage. So we are gonna talk about Magic Launcher, an easy way to install and manage all of your mods. There are a few launchers around Minecraft. Launchers tend to add extra features to the game so that you don't have to go in and manually edit files. It adds a nice GUI interface for you to control. There are lots of other launchers around Minecraft. One that you may have seen before is the Tekkit launcher. It allows you to add Forge mods all into Tekkit without you doing a single thing. So let's get more in detail on what Magic Launcher does. So first in Magic Launcher, we have some tabs along the top. We have the normal Minecraft news, which you see in the normal launcher. We have Reddit, we have some Twitter accounts for Notch, Jeb, and Dinnerbone. We have Tumblr, we have the Minecraft forums, and we have the Minecraft wiki. Then down here near the bottom where you normally log in, you actually have an extra row. This first drop-down menu has configurations for things that you have already made. When you first launch Magic Launcher, you'll only have the default option. Then you have your normal username and password login. You have the options uh, which are similar to the options in uh, the normal Minecraft game and then your login button. But this setup button, very important. Let's go ahead and jump into there. This window allows you to manage and modify all of the things that Minecraft can do. Let's go ahead and start at the top. This allows me to jump between the configurations that I have already created. Let's go ahead and create a new configuration. You can copy a configuration from the past, or you can leave it blank to not copy anything. Uh, when you copy, it'll bring over your previous mods and so they'll, they'll already be filled in. Let's just go ahead and call this one uh, Dinos with a few exclamation points and a, and a one after that. Then go ahead and confirm that. You can see that now I'm, I have sort of a clean list here. Let's say that I was going to install some, some mods that I knew wouldn't work with the current release of Minecraft. I can go ahead and select a, a different Minecraft jar if I want. Now, the ones that I'm going to use, I actually do know, work with the current version, so I'm going to skip out of that. Oops, let's actually select the correct version. There we are. Then in this area is where I add my mods. So you can go ahead and download mods from uh, their service, or I've already downloaded them. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and just add them to, the, uh, to, to my little area. Now, you can already see first, uh, this mod says there's no mod loader. Although, right below it, there is mod loader. What's going on is there's actually a hierarchical uh, way of adding mods. If I was to add Optifine before I added mod loader, mod loader would have these errors. And so the Magic Launcher actually takes that into account. So let's you put Optifine after mod loader. And then uh, this mod right here requires mod loader, as you can see in the status of the mod. So let's move that down past mod loader. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and put it past Optifine as well. If you are using a mod manager that requires external mods in a mod folder, that's where they'll show up right down here in this area. For this current setup, uh, I'm, I'm not doing any of that. 
Next, uh, there's another tab in this area called the Advanced tab, and this allows you to do a few things that I really love. It frustrates me that every single time I start my Minecraft game, I have to resize the window, so I'm going to go ahead and select as Maximized. Also, I know that I'm running better Java than the 32-bit Java, so I can bring up my memory size to something much, much larger. Uh, let's just go ahead and say 1,028 just for now, for a whole gig. Uh, next, if you want to, you can go ahead and select the Java folder, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Some other things that Magic Launcher allows you to do is test out your builds without actually launching the game. So I can go ahead and click test. It's going to try to run what it believes it, uh, that I want and looks like it worked just fine. I'm going to go ahead and close that. This is all the settings that I want, so let's go ahead and confirm. And now in my dropdown, you can see that Dinos is down here added to the bottom. Let's go ahead and jump in to this modded game. Now the game is loaded up, uh, just to show off that this is actually working, I have a really fun mod that uh, we named this Dinos for a reason, and it's because it adds these extra bikes, and the bike that I want is the Dino bike. Let's go ahead and just uh, add a few of these others just to kind of show it off. Uh, but this Dino bike, bam, yeah, that's right, dinosaurs in Minecraft. You can have a whole bunch of different versions. Uh, the flying uh, dinosaurs actually do fly. You walk right up to it, right click it, and you can fly around. Uh, you can, uh, you know, get above. You got all these dinos. You can also go up to mobs and pick them up uh, with the dinosaur. And anyway, we're not actually going to get into this mod right now, but uh, it's a pretty fun mod. Uh, it's called, I believe it's called Animal, I forget what it's called, but uh, it'll actually be in the show notes. Some other things that Magic Launcher does that are a little bit hard to show off is you don't have to delete your meta.imp file anymore. It also checks for compatibility with other mods. So if a mod requires Forge or requires GUI API, it'll go ahead and tell you that right in line. Also, it'll check uh, that the mod is compatible with the current version of Minecraft that you're running. Now, it is good to note that sometimes Magic Launcher doesn't work with every single mod. Just the way that it installs it, it just doesn't work out. Sometimes I've had to manually install mods still, but as a general rule, Magic Launcher is the only way that I ever install mods. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to our show, go ahead and go to youtube.com slash omgcraft or search for us in iTunes. If you have some mail that you would like to send me, a tip, a question, anything like that, you can go ahead and send it to mail at omgcraft.com. Also, if you want to see how this episode is crafted, every week we record on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in another episode.